green is one day. And then you have the mind calendar, 20 energy glyphs, and that's actually seasonal. And then you have hours, which is pink, minutes is orange, red is the present moment, and you can put the medicine wheel there if you want. Then in the center is timelessness, and that's the connection with higher levels of thinking or higher levels of consciousness or having a place in your time structure to bring in levels of consciousness. So it's, so it's bringing together cycles of time and levels of consciousness in one model. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Could we get a, like a picture of it sometime? Maybe we yes. Have it. yes. If I was good, I'd have it for you right now and share it with you. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I've, uh, my other computer was stolen, and since then I've, I sort of haven't been as good for having things. But this this may stimulate me to get away. So yeah. essentially, what what that is is it's a new clock mm -hmm. and it's, it's a way for the mind to visually have different time mechanisms to look at things but then you can program the clock. you can program it with values you can program it with concepts mm -hmm. and basically i've invented something called the inflow matrix mm -hmm. a thinking system which is a way to organize certain concepts in certain patterns that fit on this time translator. And so the idea being that this is going to show a difference between an old paradigm and a new paradigm. The old paradigm based upon fear, the new paradigm based upon love. And what we're doing is we're moving our minds into a new thinking structure and then sharing a different way of seeing time. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so, so what do you think about that? <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, how do the how do the the inflow matrix how does it fit into the time translator? Well, the inflow matrix would be the the large container, I guess. The uh, time translator would be the foundational piece that everything from the inflow matrix fits on top of, because everything sort of is in layers. So each one of those cycles can be broken down into different parts. And so depending upon what cycle you're in, uh, you have a different map. And so you can basically take all of the world's mental models, essentially, hopefully, and place them in the time translator. It's like a way to bring together conceptual models and systems together into one whole system using time as the main reference point to connect and see how these things fit. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta, we gotta see it. Um, so, okay, I'll show you something. This is an example. Yeah, yeah, I see of a custom design value system. Oh, yeah. The words in the circles can organize any business. And then you have a way of choosing values and custom designing it. <laughs> now each of you could, could have one of these individually, and then you can have one as a team. And like this is a pretty high order of organization for your information system, which creates uh -huh. the reference point in your mind, starting with your value system. Mm -hmm. as being the core but I got to warn you that this is very very transformational if you mm -hmm. go we want to value integrity at agreements and mm -hmm. we want to value cooperation at relationships and we want to value inspiration at our jobs mm -hmm. it, it will happen but you will have to go through the experiences of seeing where it is going and <laughs> is not going you're creating a field of energy for you to realize those values together and by creating that agreement together to the universe mm -hmm. you 
will draw experiences to you to figure out, okay, are we cooperating or not? Am I inspired or not? You know, mm -hmm. are we living in integrity or not? So mm -hmm. it's, it's essentially a, a universal learning, value learning system that can connect to whatever is your vision that you want to create together. Mm, I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, if I'm yeah, get, getting it right, yeah, and if I'm understanding this value system would pretty much would connect us together as a team if we agree on the same values, if we build it together and it will help us organize, organize it. Yeah. But then it can also be used individually for, for a person. Yes, you can have custom designed individual value systems that are specific just for you. And then you have your individual values connecting to, to the group values, connecting to the <laughs> values, which oh, if, if you want a, a reference point to learn, hello, Molly, you know, it, it works. I mean, I'm sure you guys are already learning a lot from one another, but this just sort of increases the amplification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because I, I, in the past, I just, I noticed when I haven't made many value systems with many groups of people. I've done it with individuals, but not many groups. And the groups I have seen, it's, it's, a, it's uncanny how, how strongly this works. So I think if people are interested in spiritual transformation, then this, this is a, a good thing to participate in. But if you're not, <laughs> Or if you have no idea what that means, mm -hmm. uh, this, this could be a little rough for the next, if, if you decide to use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It seems that like it would work really well for a company as well. Mm -hmm. I do hear now that they're focusing more on, on creating their values and being clear about them. So I wonder how they can All right. I'm really curious about the tetrahedron you, you were sharing with us. That was, uh, yeah, there was a fair amount of insight. I wonder if, yeah. That's so cool. If we, so if we would like to use that as, as for us as, as a team, and when you were saying communication and then also the, the leadership, yeah, I guess to use it, we would have to acknowledge each one of us in a point and, and then see what our gifts are, or how, how would that work? Well, there's a number of different ways we can go at it. Um, it's very custom designable in a sense. And most of the time I sort of go on my intuition about what's next. Um, so something would naturally occur, but there are, I guess, exercises and assignments that you guys would have to do together to start to build your inflow matrix in a sense. So there's, there's also tools, there's card sets that you can use for divination. So it's, there's some very fun elements in terms of <clears throat> um, using cards to stimulate conversations and using divination, using random pulling as a methodology that over and over again shows something incredible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I, I don't know if you guys are interested in magic in that way or or like divination or not but uh, my guess is you probably yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. big purpose is like uh, stimulating the conversation yeah. and like once we get that started like yeah these things you start coming out and, yeah. and cards are one of the tools that we mm -hmm. use to like get yeah, past we, those blockages and like get back into the the deep dark stuff <laughs> Get back to flow and talking. So maybe what we could do is have a yeah. a weekly call like this, yeah. um, and see and see about. I could come to Victoria, and I, you know, I got to start doing workshops in a sort of bigger way. I was looking more at like twenty people, perhaps. But maybe you guys could be the start of a a team of four, and then we get four other teams of four, and then mm -hmm. we could have a, a pretty fun weekend. Um, playing, playing a lot in terms of seeing how to <laughs> interact as teams with other teams uh, to learn more about yourself. So I like playing. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe what's uh, do you guys have paper in front of you? Yeah. yeah. We're already no joking. 
Let me see. Uh, how about, okay, I'm going to get, okay, I'll give you a, a quick assignment. Um, each of you is to write down seven lifetime goals. We have 10 minutes left in this meeting, just All so right. you know. So, so this is going to be your, your, this is your takeaway assignment. You don't have to do it all right now. Okay. Yeah. Your first assignment, because we only have 10 minutes left, and you should probably go through it. So by next week, we're going to have you each with your seven mm -hmm. lifetime goals. I, would, I don't want you to share with anyone else before then. All right. I want you to put a lot of time and effort into this, just in terms of come up with at least one that's impossible. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> and use numbers like you, you might go i want to write some books no i want to write 10 books um, no, it's specific, I say, yeah. think about you're, you're dying no no you're already dead you're looking at your funeral and all these people are saying all these things about what you did <laughs> and what you did is is these goals you actually achieved them so how about just to finish off why why don't each of you uh, with two minutes left to go, give, give an intention around what kind of learning that you want to learn with this group. Mm. Okay. Um, I go first. Okay. Uh, so yeah, with this group, I mean just, well, yeah, and, and you're a part of the group because you're facilitating us, I guess, at this point. Or yeah, what, what we want to learn together. <laughs> well, yeah, because there's two, two things. I mean, mainly when I think of us as a, uh -huh, as a as a group, I mean, the feeling I'm getting is when you were showing the wheels and, and the calendar, I, I would truly enjoy to um, be able to understand this better and, and truly connect with it because I like to observe the moon and I like to be aware of it and I like to have a sense of the larger cycles and also when you mentioned the seasons and then that's when the Mayan calendar comes into play, I would really like to understand it and, and not only understand it, but actually be able to implement it into my life. And, and what a better way to do it than to do it with a group of friends that are also interested in, uh, in, in pretty much learning how we can use the system to organize ourselves and, and, and to make sense of every day too, because I find many times we, we can feel a lack of purpose if there's no clarity of intention of what's going on or if we're not tapped into the natural cycles that much when we're more in cities. So I, w I would look forward to, to working and uh, learning, learning that. And, and also another big part to not go over the two minutes, those go fast, but yeah, just uh, when you pull the tetrahedron, I really had the sense that we truly, uh, in, in this group, I find we all have these huge gifts to share. And I would love to get to know more our gifts and our weaknesses and how we can complement each other to truly steer this boat of, uh, yeah, of community and, and, and this, yeah, yeah, family work we're coming into. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel gratitude, so I just want to express gratitude. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming together, and thank you, Elijah, for your work that's pulling us together uh, in a, a very positive way, like a hopeful way, with a, a focus, a bit more of a focus. Um, so thank you, everybody. And my intention with this group feels like something that I have dreamt <laughs> for some time, and now it's here in front of me. And uh, the universe is like, all right, time to get inside of the mud and get mm, dirty. Wow. And Melissa, if you want to love openly and unlocked and and uh, be be inside of your power and allow space for people to realize their power and to live well and uh, to feel unblocked and unvictimized and unashamed and all of these other things that are quite heavy. 
so now, with, now I'm Mommy. here with this group of people, and my intention is to learn how to love more openly. Awesome. Mm, my intention is to discover our gifts, the gift that we, we each have to bring into this uh, project that we're creating. Uh, all learning communication, communication, communication. I mean, these days, like, mm. wow, we really, there is a lot of miscommunication out there and like uh, finding the finding the way to uh, deactivate those parts of unconsciousness and miscommunication. Um, yeah, I'm feeling community. This is like foundations of a community and studying that community from very, very uh, amazing foundations. Mm. My intentions with uh, this community is to build, start by building, I guess, a strong foundation and, um, of honesty and integrity and um, learning how to open communication. <laughs> Have really good open communication in expressing needs and practicing healthy boundaries. Um, and also just like integrating more of all the years of learning um, different wisdom things and being able to share it, learn to sh like share it together in a way that we can open it up to other people in the community and hold space for others to so get our circle strong, opening up to others. Um, yeah, and just to feel grounded and rooted in this earth and in this island and in this place that we are, even though there's cars going by the different directions, just to feel that like rooting within our own. Um, yeah, souls. Mm, and then just to anchor in and bring that purpose of our soul to star and bring it down into earth. Uh, yeah, set up a solid uh, foundation so we could send the spaceship off <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> well, I, I can see you all have the right mindset. You're all uh, very open and loving. And uh, I can see great things happening from this. So I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be asked to assist you. Yeah. And I will uh, give what I can in terms of what I have and hope yeah. in a manner that it works. And if it isn't, please give feedback as to what doesn't work and um, yeah. Yeah. What, and what works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this, this is, I see yeah. you pioneers and explorers and into a whole new world of human living. And yeah. Being a model of uh, planetary the life that they want to live together. Realize they can't do it in the old paradigm and are looking for some new way to do it. And uh, I, I offer that uh, I'm here for you. Connect your higher purposes with how you want to live your life. So, Upon mm -hmm. that, I will uh, say goodbye, and, uh, give you my love, and we can communicate in between. Uh, perhaps we can look at Mondays as a time of being a, a time of sacrifice. And if not, we can find out a time that does. And then let's maybe look at eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, right, yeah. at, uh, beginning and end. And uh, this is the start. Right, yeah. and each week we're going to build and that you're going to have something but uh, as you agree there's going to be a very transformative field you will notice more synergy you will notice more synchronicity you will notice more, uh, transformative cold <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, nice. very safe 
<laughs> but very provocative. Mm. All right, yeah, well. Al always use humor first. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, much love to you. See you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Great connecting Thank with you. you. Very honored. Yeah. And just um, one comment for, for the me next meeting. Yeah. I think would it be a good idea for, for us to have a group conversation so, so we can be in touch for the next